What's up, everybody? IronForgesIron.com presents to you another trifecta. <laughs> We've got the IQ wrestler Jacob here with Chuck JMMA underscore all day. And we are here for you guys, for you, in order to inform you guys of what has been happening around the MMA community. And we begin. Recent events. Yes, we begin by talking about something that's not involving MMA. And that is the Pac-Man fight. Your thoughts, people. It was a uh, nice night, you know. <laughs> One of those events that you get together uh, with friends, you know, have a nice little party. But a uh, great fight. I think definitely I'm one of the people who thinks that Marquez won that fight. Uh, he landed what seemed to me to be uh, the, the cleaner shots. It looked like the harder shots. He just looked better uh, completely. He just looked better. Uh, I don't keep uh, scores through rounds like most people do. I just judge on what I see. And I watched it two times, and it was still the same reaction afterwards. I thought Marquez won the fight. Uh but you got to keep that goat undefeated. You got to keep milking it, and you got to uh, try and set up that $200 million payday with Mayweather. But uh, I guess this kind of this kind of showed that uh, maybe there maybe, maybe there's a significant gap between Mayweather and Pacquiao. And uh, I'm thinking Mayweather might want to take this fight because uh, and maybe he will take it because he showed that uh, Pacquiao, you know. Maybe he isn't all that good. Maybe he's been fighting older guys recently. He's been getting spectacular spectacular knockouts. Uh, and he's just real flashy, you know? Mm -hmm. And it seems to be that they judged the fight on the flashiness and not really damage and, uh, and what, what it should be based on. But uh, your guys' thoughts? Jacob, do you have anything? Um, you know, I, I pretty much agree with Chuck. I mean... Um, I scored my kids as well. He landed clearly the more effective punches. Um, but, you know, they've got to protect Pac. Um, you know, it, it is what it is, really. I think uh, Marquez has defeated Pacquiao every time they fought, so... Three fucking uh, times. Three times, yeah. He's won three times and got three losses on his record to show for it. I um, think they said that uh, he won, like, almost, like, all the rounds, like, 39 rounds <laughs> or some shit like that out of the three fights. Boxes. And he hasn't won once. Bo if you it's think MMA so, judging. It's, it's so – it's blatantly corrupt. And then Bob Arum does the press conference where he only answers a few questions and essentially tells everybody to fuck off. Because he doesn't want to handle it. It's like, he's, man. He's a classless loser. And you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Uh, UFC but and Fox. Actually, did tell people to fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, <laughs> on to the next thing. UFC on Fox. What did you guys think? Jacob? Uh, short but sweet, I guess. Uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, not really... Uh, not really all it was hyped up to be, I mean, um, but props to Junior Dos Santos. Uh, you know, I had, I had him all the way, and uh, yeah. he got a huge win. That's pretty much it. We know it's possible. Would you pick Wayne? What, what, what? Would you pick Wayne? I, I had I had uh, I had Kane. I, I I had Kane. Okay, okay. No, 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 right. no. I had Kane. You had JBS. Um, yeah. It was it, came, it comes as no sh surprise that uh, that the fight ended that quickly. That that was no, it ended in that fashion. That's nah. how every most people imagined it to be. Um, I would assume. I don't know, man. I mean, I, there's not much to talk about the fight except that maybe the 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 fact that Keen was out for a little while. I don't know, man. I mean, the first shot he threw, it seemed as if Cain like was staggered from like the first punch i have no idea why he didn't strike yeah. to strike to take down you know any anything like that to set up any takedowns um man 
I just bad strategy by Kane. Listen, listen. I actually, I don't really think so. I'm going to have to disagree with you. He came out. He threw, he threw some nice leg kicks to begin the round, taking away the lead leg of the boxer. I think that's smart. I just think maybe he should have tried throwing a, a few more takedowns and get away from those fucking big punches. Don't don't just cover up and, and, and eat them because he, it's like the Pat Berry check Congo. They got right past the guard and hit him almost right behind the ear, you know what I mean? And then it's like Shogun Machida, too. It almost looks the same if you watch both fights, the way he goes down, except for being mounted and finished. It's almost like the same punch. But you know uh, what? You, you, you're saying, like, I, oh, he should have taken strategy. done. I thought it was a good strategy. You know, you're saying that, like, oh, we should have, we should have, he done his, should have done more takedowns. Bro, he didn't, he didn't take, he didn't attempt one takedown. He didn't take one, ta he I didn't attempt one takedown. One, but JDS just, like, pushed him off. Yeah, he did. He tried, he, he went, went for one. one. He caught a kick and went for the takedown. But he kind of just, like, pushed him off. But I mean, hey, congrats to Junior Dos Santos. I had him win by TKO KO. I can't remember if I picked him in the first or second round. But uh, props to Kane, you know. Uh, he's came off a long layoff. Uh, people were saying, oh, he had the cortisone shot in his knee. Well, JDS had a fucking torn meniscus. So uh, cancels each other out, you know what I mean? Uh, Kane will be back. I'd like to see him either fight uh, maybe the loser of Brock Lesnar over him, which I'm sure will be Brock Lesnar, mm. or maybe winner of Big Nog Mir, or even loser of that fight. Who knows? But uh, I thought he had a good game plan. Throwing the leg kicks, he just, you can't eat, you can't even eat blocked shots was, from JD. It was too slow. Yeah, he just looked sluggish, looked slow. Uh, he, he was right, he wasn't moving around, you know what I mean? His head was right there. He was coming and, sh and he was moving forward in a straight line. He wasn't, like, trying to even attempt to slip any punches or anything. But uh, congrats to JDS. Uh, can't wait to see JDS versus Overham, I'm predicting. Fuck. And I think JDS might actually beat Overham if that happens. But I hope not. We'll see. Let's see. Um, you want to mention anything about the Kid Yamamoto fight? I want to just it's say that. It was fucking bullshit. Kid won round one and at least won round three. I don't know who the fuck scored it. 30-26? Uh, 29-26? Somebody fucking scored it, one of the judges? Like, for real? Dude, Are I, you serious? Dude, I think you're nuts, He man. just took his back and fucking held on to him the whole goddamn time. Not for nothing. I think you're like, nuts. It's, maybe it's just me. Yeah, it maybe is. Maybe it's you. just me, guys. Jacob, did, did you see? I'm just like, I'm... I'm JMMA all day. I score on damage. That's what I that's what I want. And he fucking he punched him up that judo throw in the first round. Uh I guess, yeah, under the current scoring criteria, uh Uyo Uyo fucking whatever the fuck he's Darren Oyeo Yama, whatever, won that fight or whatever. But zero Bushido. You just gonna hold on to him and fucking fish for you know, fish for it the whole time? Like whatever, that's kinda of bitch made. And uh it's just, it's kids, and it's kids past his prime, sadly. We got uh, fucking Kyoji Horiguchi, fuck you, Jacob, coming up from Crazy B. So, you know, the future's bright, you know? Right. I, so bright, Jacob's got to wear shades. I think you're out of your mind to think that he won it in round of that fight. <laughs> I think no, I really do. Even I think that still will, still will both about the same as yeah, me. but still will also you had know, still will also had Pac Man winning the fight. So I don't know what you're talking yeah. about, bro. Yeah. <laughs> can, you please, can you please? Can you please tell this too. man the first round? He he he. he all right, he 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 kind of stunned him. He, he f knocked him down. Nothing to, too crazy to talk about. He he still had the dominant position. He still kind of won the round. Second round, Yamamoto had no offense, no offense in that round. Uh, so that was a I ten eight round to me. A ten eight round. It could have been ten nine if you want to take give a ten eight. I have no problem with that. I thought the third round also same thing. Uh, I don't know. I, I key wrestler. Well, and uh, everyone who knows me knows I'm a huge. Uh, Kid fan, 
Uh, but there's no way you won that fight. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, there's no way. <laughs> Guida, Guida and Henderson. Guida and Henderson. Great fight. Should have been on the main card. Uh, I mean, and on the on the show, bro. Uh, we kind of me and me and Chuck kind of screwed ourselves over a little bit. I think I felt like I was wrong until I kind of bypassed and shrugged that fight off. Uh, amazing yeah. fight. Amazing fight. It was yeah, a fight. Uh, I believe, like. Uh, Mr. Myers straight says, shout out to Mr. Myers and his new vlog. You guys got to check that out. Hilarity ensues like always. Uh, like he said, drop, fought, they kind of dropped the ball not to put the co-main event on there, but I'm sure they learned their lesson. And, and once 2012, 2012 kicks in and the deal starts up, I'm sure they'll learn from the mistake. And uh, eventually, the more mistakes they make, they'll learn from. Yeah. Um, well, it was uh, aired over here in Australia when they showed the, the card here. Um, so they fixed it for the overseas broadcast. Yeah. Uh, but it was a fantastic fight. Uh, you know, and props to Ben Hendo, man. Uh, that guy's a monster. Yeah, he is. He really is. You see how big that fucking guy's thighs and legs are? Huge. Fuck, man. And I just want to say, uh, Japan does is, does not give a fuck about that fight. They do not care. About what? They don't even know. A majority of them don't even know who Ben Henderson or Frank Yeager are. Dude, they'll, they'll put on a good show. And I just they'll, they'll put on a good I, show. I'm sure they will. But the thing is, I don't think he's gonna. I think it'll be a good show because Ben Henderson will will probably finish him. I don't think. How many KOs does uh, Frank Yeager have? He doesn't have a high KO ratio. You know what I mean? Yeah, Ben Hen he's, 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 Henderson winning that fight? I do. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh. I, I actually I do. do. You do? Yeah. Wow. I, What's I, I think, God come at us, bro? I, th I think I think Edgar would win that fight. Maybe yeah, he's just well, a little biased. Yeah, he's, he uh, definitely could win it, but uh, I think mean, I mean, Ben uh, has a really good chance of winning that fight. Mm -hmm. I just I think they'll I think they'll win the Japanese over because the Japanese are so nice about it. But I just think that uh, UFC is completely oblivious to what the Japanese want. You know what I mean? Sexy Yama put that on there, of course. But like, man, I just don't think it's gonna do well. I hope it doesn't do well. I'm real pessimistic about it. Uh, we'll see how the card comes together. The early morning start time is disrespectful, uh, but I'm excited for him to go back to Japan. I hope Dana has enough balls to go. I doubt it, though. We'll see. Then we go into UFC 139 for predictions now. We've done the recap predictions. Uh, and if this somehow goes a little bit longer than 30 minutes, what I'll do is I'll put this on uh, iTunes as two separate uh, podcasts. Uh, but we'll start off with the the first fight, a light heavyweight bout, uh, Bonner versus Stephen Bonner versus Kyle Kingsbury. I don't care. Don't care. Sorry. IQ. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't care about Kyle Kingsbury, yeah. um, but you know, I, I'm sure it'll be a, an okay fight. <laughs> I have Kyle Kingsbury. You know, he's okay. You have you have uh, fun with Kingsbury's that. Kingsbury's coming off. Kingsbury's coming off that win from Maldano. Yeah. I think some shit like that. But I don't know too much about him. And uh, Stefan Bonner, I'm not going to be disrespectful like I was in the last video and say I don't give a fuck about you, but I'm not interested in your abilities. And uh, I just don't I'm – not, I'm not a fan of you, so I will humbly and politely decline – the offer to watch your fight, to legally live stream and watch your fight. That's like the fight of the That's night where I'm I'm getting all drugged up and eating bomb food. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's what that fight is. And I, it's the first fight, so. I can't. Great one. You have anything you had? Stephen Bonner, you fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that's a unanimous decision that he sucks. Uh, 
Next okay. fight, Rick Story versus Martin Campman. It should be a fun fight. I think I think I'm gonna go with Campman. Um, you know, uh, Rick Story is mo mostly a wrestler, a boxer, um, and you know Campman has pretty good uh, takedown defense. Um, so I'm gonna go with Campman just for that reason alone, by decision. Yeah. I'm gonna go Campman decision yeah. too. Uh, Rick Story is gonna try and hump him. Uh, that's all he ever does is try and hump guys against the cage. Martin Campman really well rounded um, and should be able to defend off the wrestling. Campman by a decision as well. Okay, well, now we're gonna go to the third fight: Uriah Faber versus Brian Bowles. How do you think this is gonna go, IQ? I'll give you the first shot. Uh, <laughs> I hope Brian Bowles knocks him the fuck out. Uh, but not very likely. Uriah Faber's a tough guy. Uh, he's going to try and wrestle. Uh, tough fight to call, really. Uh, I'll say Brian Bowles, so by decision. Chuck? I'm going to say uh, Brian Bowles, first round TKO. Wow. I like Brian Bowles. I'm wow. a fan of Brian Bowles, yeah, and I'm right. going to go out. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw it out there, take a little bit of a risk, and... Uh, uh, make a prediction of what I would like to see, more of what I would think is going to happen. I think it'll be a long decision, uh, but I'm hoping and I'm going to pick a uh, first-round TKO. Listen, whatever the fight, what happens in this fight, it's going to be a great fight. And Bowles, he finishes. He's he a finisher. It. He brings it. He's a yeah. finisher. Very tough yeah. fight to call. I'm going with Uriah Faber by decision just because I like the California kid and I'm a nut hugger. So I'm gonna go with yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Uriah Faber. Uh, fourth fight. Please God. This is this is this this is my favorite fighter in the world. Vandalay the nicest the guys in the whole world. The Vandalay the axe murderer solar versus Kung Lee. If the real life Yujiro Hanma. Oh my god, man. I, I need this win for Vondelay. Vondelay needs this bad. Dude, I would agree with And that. I tell you what, if he fights smart like he fought Bisbing, and he doesn't go crazy and go march forward and just take shots for the just sake of... Just looping punches. Then, like Fight smart, pick your, sh your shots, you're going to beat Kung Lee. Easier yeah. said than done. It can't be that simple. But... I'm going to pick Vondelay by knockout, third round. Nonetheless, I'm praying to God, if Vondelay somehow listens to this, please, take your time, pick your shots, don't go too nuts. We all love you. If you have a boring fight, we're still going to love you no matter what. Maybe the, the people that don't love you are going to boo you. They don't matter. It's us that you should be concerned yes. about and, and, and your career. Please, for the love of God, please, don't go too nuts. Don't charge and be an idiot and, and abandon your whole game plan. If you take them down, you're probably going to win. If you pick your shots, you're probably going to win. Let's do this. Vondelé by my knockout third mm. round. There it is. I can respect that. I think that uh, Kung Lee's all kicks... A little bit of hands got knocked out by Scott Smith. Doesn't say a lot about him for his for his career when you when you get knocked out by fucking Scott Smith. Excuse my language. Uh, I think he just needs to stay out of the range of those kicks, like you said, Wayne. He needs to just uh, pick his shots. You know, be real technical. Don't get into a slugfest with him. Keep your hands up high. Uh, be wary of the kicks because you know they're coming, and just try and stay out of the range of those kicks. Don't let him eat up your lead leg with kicks. Uh, just be careful, please. I know you can beat this guy. Like, we all know you can beat this guy. We know you can beat Lieben. I want to leave in rematch after he KOs Kung Lee, because I think he will KO Kung Lee. Uh, even if you want, like, like you said, Wayne, I won't. It's not going to change my opinion of you. You're one of the most Bushido people in the world. You know what I mean? Surely you will be on the front lines of Ragnarok when uh, that shit happens. You know what I mean? Because it's going down. And uh, 
you don't have to please the fans like this anymore. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, like when I saw I saw him get knocked out by Dan Henderson here in Vegas, Pride 33, back fucking like three four years ago or whatever, and it was just like. I don't want to see him get into a slugfest with people. You know what I mean? Maybe even Kung Lee, maybe it doesn't hit that hard, but still. Uh, people say Vagale's uh, chin is questionable, but he's been knocked out by hard fucking punchers. You know what I mean? And hard kickers. So, you know, I don't think uh, Kung Lee's going to be able to finish him. I think Vagale can finish Kung Lee, and he will second round KO. IQ wrestler, what do you think? Uh, I think you're right. Uh, I think, mean, hmm. I think, uh, you know, Vendelay's style has to change. Uh, you know, in Pride, he, he had the draw to, you know, just go berserk on guys and always come out, uh, ahead in the slug chest. Uh, he's had a lot of brutal knockouts in the last few years and, you know, his style has to, has to change. He has to fight well. I mean, he's never going to be in a total boring fight, ever. Can't be done. Um, so, as long as he fights smart, he can beat, you know, almost anyone uh, in the middleweight division, I believe. Um, and if he fights smart, he should just, you know, he should uh, beat Kanye, you know, pretty decisively. I will say a second round TK as well. One of the most, the, one of the most emotional fights I've ever witnessed as a fan was his fight against Bisbee. Unbelievable! Oh, what an emotional fight! Yeah. Um, but uh, we go down to the final fight of the night: uh, Mauricio Shogun Hua versus Dan Henderson. In my opinion, the greatest American fight of all time um, against uh, one of the greatest Brazilian fighters of all time. Uh, this is just such a dream matchup. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying I'm going with Shogun by decision. Um, I don't think he's going to knock out Henderson. I just don't think he's going to knock out Dan Henderson. Um, Hendo's got those heavy, heavy hands. And, uh, you know, he, he's known to, to push forward. Um, but Shogun's quick guy, very elusive, can take a punch. Um, he seems like he's in great shape, um, and, uh, he doesn't seem like he's suffering from any injuries that I'm aware of. Um, and I'm going to, and a healthy Shogun is as good as it gets, as good as it gets. Yeah. Um, so Definitely. I'm going to go with, Sh and, and look, this fight can go either way. I think it's leading more towards Shogun for me personally. Um, I don't know how, how it would be if, if Hendo gets him on his back. Might be interesting. Be very interesting to uh, see how, uh, you know, Shogun does against an elusive, elusive wrestler like Dan Henderson. Um, I hope that he it's avenges his brother's loss, which, in my opinion, should have never been a loss in the first place. Uh, Ninja Rua beat his ass yeah. years ago. So uh, I'm going to go with Shogun, and I'm done. <laughs> go ahead, Jacob. Jacob. Or Jacob, whoever. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, it all depends which Shogun shows up. The elusive Shogun or the sluggish Shogun. It always does. Uh, what, what was that? Every fight, it's always what Shogun's going to show up. It's just, man, like, and like you said, Wayne, if the, if the, if the real Shogun shows up, the one we know, it's like... Dan Henderson's in trouble, but this fight makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, Shogun's like, I think he's four and three in the UFC. Uh, come on, you know, let's get it. Let's get this shit. Let's get the knockout. Uh, Avenge Fedor. And this card, this 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 main core main event, really reminds me of like the Pride 33, with the but the Dan Henderson and Shogun fight. That's what that's the fight. Looking back. Then I thought I would never, you know, would never happen. And especially with Vanderlei Silva as the co-main event on the card is just insane. It's going to be uh, Shogun, KO, 
first round. I think somebody's getting knocked out. Wow. So I'm not going to go over with this. First season. round. I'm first round. Think. I think, yeah. I think uh, Shogun definitely has taken uh, this fight seriously. He has to. He knows he has to. He knows Henderson isn't a, a joke by any means. And uh, he will come prepared and he will, uh, like you said, uh, atone for the uh, loss of his brother and uh, his shoot box. Uh, homie, fun in the silver. IQ wrestler, you've got four minutes. Go ahead, have fun. Hurry <laughs> up! Um, I think this fight has been a long, long time coming. Uh, you know, if let's face it, if Pride had lived, um, you know, this would have been the next uh, white heavyweight tire match, middleweight tire match in Pride. Uh, you know, Avenge uh, Ninja, Avenge Shogun. I think we're probably just going to see close to the best Shogun we've ever seen. And Dan Henderson, if he was any less of a man, would be shitting himself. <laughs> um, and he is uh, tough as they come, and he fears no one. So we're going to see, like, possibly uh, one of the greatest matches ever. I think it has the potential. Uh you know, Shogun never been knocked out, ever. Uh, the TKO loss to Coleman was when his arm broke. Um, yeah. So, you know, and both guys have granite chins. And they don't go in there and throw bombs. Uh, I suspect Anderson will try and uh, use his wrestling a little bit. Maybe try and tie Shogun a, a bit, you know, push him against the cage a little bit. Uh, work for some takedowns, uh, but I'm thinking uh, Shogun's supreme Muay Thai skills, you know, should negate that a fair bit. he work the knees from the clinch. It's going to be a real tough fight to call, uh, but I'm going to have a Shogun as well. And there uh, you Shogun's have it. the best. And there you have it. We have done it. We've been able to cover three events in one vlog. Uh, IQ Wrestler, thank you very much. Check out his Twitter. Um, and, of course, check out his uh, video uh, highlights. Amazing. Uh, Chuck, as always, thank you for coming on. He's my co-host anyway. I don't even know why I'm faking you. F you. Why F the fuck you. you always do that? I'm like a, I'm the staple he is of the staple. this vlog. This is our, this is our nice. thing. Uh, MMA Takeover Radio. You can check us out on iTunes. You have us on Blog Talk Radio now. Uh, and you have us on YouTube. Uh, you also have us on ironforgesiron.com, the best MMA website in the world. The absolute. IQ Wrestler, you should hopefully join us one day. I'm, ho I'm trying join to recruit us, you to get on with us. We're trying to find you. With the zombie party. Where are you? So, uh, Where are you? That's it, man. Thank you guys for coming on. This was actually a lot of fun. We'll do this again, hopefully at an earlier yes, time sir. where we're more excited. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, made the best fight to win this weekend between Shogun and Hendo. Yeah, I, I know it's a bold prediction, but I'm sticking with it. Shogun KO. There it is. It's going to happen. Hendo's there it is, guys. The fuck out. Thank you for watching. Comment, tweet us, everything. Peace out, guys.